Oh. Um, it's for Larissa, but I just want to say to all of you, thank you really so much for coming here. Uh, you're inspiring everyone and for you to come to Denmark. Uh, we will come to Las Vegas anytime, but for you to come here to Denmark to inspire us, that's really, really cool. So thank you. Are you staying in the video class or are you moving up to the PC class now? Yeah, um, I think uh, things changing now, you know, uh, the figure changed a little bit, so uh, I need to change. <laughs> so I think uh, next year I'm planning to do physique. Uh, this year I'm, I'm still going to try to go to this Olympia for my third time. Uh, I'm not qualified yet because it changed again uh, this year the rules, so you have to be the winner <coughs> to be qualified. Um, so I'm, I'm planning to do more shows and try to do a little for my last time as a figure. And next year I'm going to think more about physique. This is the first year, so I need to be more inspired too, you know. It's a new thing, so. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for like inspiring girls all over the world to thank you. change the trend from skinny girls to strong. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I have a question about this uh, health thing. Uh, of course, when you're dieting and preparing for contest, you're strict about food and training and everything. But in off season. How do you feel about walking up, eating a hamburger, drinking a beer, something like that? Are you drinking in the off-season? For all of you guys.
drink pretty much every day, so uh, bodybuilding changed all that. Um, but uh, yeah, obviously for celebration, uh, you know, every now and again, you know, I have a, I actually like beer, not that, you know, but um, I'm a Scotch guy actually, so I'd rather have that, but uh, if I can, but most of the time I can. As far as like, uh, you know, eating burgers and things like that, you know, I think they have their purpose. I mean, I'd rather go to an actual restaurant and have a burger there than maybe fast food. You know, it's a little bit different, you know, different quality of uh, protein, you know, but, uh, but yeah, you know, I try to make sure, like, before every prep, uh, like, for instance, I start my diet in June, I try to make sure that uh, if there's anything I want to do, um, anything, I get two days. <laughs> so if I want to go out, to a nightclub, go dancing, go, go have a drink, I'll go do that. If I want to go eat, you know, burgers, fries, pizza, all that other stuff, I do it. But then after those two days are over, it's, it's done. So that way, you know, I make sure that when I get ready for a contest, I don't have any cravings or anything. Um, but for me, I, I, don't, I, I don't have the luxury of being able to sit at home and, and, and pick out like that because, you know, I travel all the time. You know, I travel just under 150,000 miles a year, you know, doing different guest appearances like what we're going to have tonight. So therefore, guys like Stellan are going to have me come in, you know, to, to look like that's what I like DJs in. But, um, and then there's obviously the internet, right? And, you know, people take a photo and it's not so favorable and you don't look like the champ. So for me, it's to make sure that no matter where I'm at, I'm, I always look like a bodybuilder. So I got to make sure that if I do have that one cheat meal, that all the other meals are good. I just want to know when you guys do a competition, do you, do you just cruise into the competition on your normal diet or do you change things up the last two days? Do you carb up or do you stop drinking water or doing anything like that? Or do you just go by your normal diet and just cruise into the competition? He wants the actual secret seat. <laughs> 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 no, 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 I'm just messing with you. Um, for me, I, I try. <laughs> no, um, but for me, it's, it's pretty simple, uh, you know, simple depletion and carb up, knowing that, uh, for, for me, it's always knowing that two weeks out before a contest, I actually look, you know, how I would like to look on stage. And therefore, there is no cruising. You know, a lot, a lot of people will say, they'll see me at the gym, and I never post progress books online, but people will say at the gym, okay, just keep what you have right now. And it's like, well, actually, I could probably get a little tighter going into the prep, but I don't do anything radical, meaning like uh, a couple days before contest, someone will eat burgers or, or uh, ice cream or, or something like that, because my whole goal is to, to stick with what I know. If I know I look good a week out, why change up really anything? I may have a little bit more carbs, but I've already played around with that during my entire prep, um, because in order, I don't want to be one of those guys that is trying to look five percent better, and then making a gamble to look five percent better and being twenty percent worse. Because you see that in a lot of shows, you know, you see a guy that's inconsistent with his conditioning, and it could be a couple of things, but more than likely it's the guy that may have heard something on the internet or from his friend or, or, or from I don't know. He just decided, well, I'll, I'll try this because I think I'll look that much better. Well, you probably already look good as it is. So you probably should just stick to what you what you know, and, and therefore you don't have to uh, do anything exotic. Uh, from for myself, I pretty much kept the same thing going since I was done my, my first show with you. Um, of course, there's been adjustments as uh, more muscle has gone on, um, but pretty much the, the same. If the brain broken by trying to fix it, comes into play. We don't do anything radical. The goal of being ready two weeks out has always been the staple. So then you don't have to do anything radical. Um, a lot of people will do crazy things during the last week. I'm, I'm pretty much ready. Um, for me, when I came into the 202 class, I came down from a, a, a decently lean 240 something in my off season. And uh, my, the Grand Prix in uh, uh, early last year was my first show how I'm taking that year off. So when I tell you I was ready in 208 pounds, I was really ready in 208 pounds. So I had to over diet to get in to that 202 class. So that's really the only extreme radicals I've ever done in my career, but I was ready two weeks out. So again, 
with, um, with, with what you're saying, uh, my, my diet is very basic. We do minor changes, um, not, not extreme changes, minor changes. So 20 weeks out, add in add a diet change. Then when you hit the plateau, <laughs> do another change. A lot of people, when they get this idea of diet in, it's okay, I've got to start cardio today, I've got to drop my carbs today, I've got to do this, I've got to do that. No, but then there's a change, a slow change. So then you can see progress, and once you hit that plateau, change it again. And it's nothing crazy. So the last week, that's all I do, like Phil said, is uh, I deplete and then I carve up. And that's it's very simple, and very basic, and, and there's no extreme measures, I don't do any. As the, the term is shit loading or junk loading or whatever like that. It's, it's all clean carbs. Um, everything is calculated, everything is weighed from the get go. Everything is weighed. And, and like Phil mentioned earlier, progress pictures throughout. So you can see from the start, 20 weeks out, to a week out, to a few days out, the progress. I even put notes in it, Phil also mentioned. So nothing wrong with that. Next. Oh, uh, we don't have time for any more, sorry guys. Thanks a lot. Keep it going. Huh?